No, no Italian music. I can't really do the stereotyped Italian music. There you go. <laughs> Not further along the process of making the sauce, my sweetie has chopped all the garlic and started with the onion. And we have put some yummy, delicious salt pork in this pot. Once it starts coating it, then we add the garlic and all the goodness. It's very, mm -hmm. very eye-watering in here. It's about to be because now I'm cutting the onion and you're going to really start to be affected in the eyes. Trust me. <laughs> I used to be bad. Like I used to, when I used to work in the food services industry all through high school and even into college and I used to do all this stuff with, with food, onions always got me no matter what. And my boss used to come to the back and he used to say, Phil, it's okay. You don't have to cry. Tell me about what's going on. I'd be like, you dick, I'm cutting onions. What do you think's going on? I'd say, Phil, if you could, please don't bring your personal problems to work. <laughs> He'd be a real dick about it. He was just, you know, he was joking and yeah. I, had a, I had thick skin, so I'd laugh too, but. Uh, that's funny. So yeah, we are preparing. Crying like a bitch. We are preparing many ingredients right now. Oh God, it's hitting me. Oh many, God. Many ingredients for the sauce. Actually, this the onion, I believe, is actually for the meatballs. Ooh, mm -hmm. meatballs. The handmade meatballs that we're going to make. I have never had a handmade meatball before. Really? Mm-mm. I'm not Italian, remember? Oh, yeah. We don't do meatballs. We do potatoes. Handmade potatoes? Yes, handmade potatoes and more potatoes. There we go. So there's our minced. Got that, that garlic. Onion. And that onion. Move that to the side. Let's see how our salt pork is doing. It's just starting to warm up, so it hasn't done anything yet. I'm actually going to turn up the heat a little more just to get it initially warm. Mm -hmm. We need that salt, salt pork to coat, coat the bottom of the pot. Mm -hmm. Then we can start adding other ingredients to start our base for the sauce. Mmm, delicious sauce. <clears throat> but right now, since we're waiting for that, which is perfect because you're supposed to wait for that, we're going to start making the meatballs. Which means we're going to get our chopped meat and or ground beef, which is really what it is, but my mom calls it chopped Sausage pre made because that, no, I'm not going to make my own sausage. I mean, that's ridiculous. <sighs> Can we get an authentic Italian experience mm -hmm. in our okay. own home? So, mmm, too beef. Yeah, I need to figure out how to easily get these open because I've never. There's no way to easily get them open, at least from my experience. Scissors, maybe? I don't know. Knife's not going to do it. To sterilize the scissors afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mmm, tube meat. They really gotta come up with more appealing packaging. Well, it just looks. Normally, I would get the one that's in the styrofoam with yeah. the plastic, but they didn't have it. Yeah, we were limited. We were limited in our selections of the proper ratio of meat to fat. Mm -hmm. When you're actually making handmade meatballs, you actually need fatty meat. Because if you get one that's lean, you may think, oh, it's healthy. Yeah, but guess what? Your meatballs are gonna turn rock hard. Mm -hmm. And that's not what you want. You want soft, tender meatballs, not rock hard meat. My grandmother tried making meatballs once. It was the worst thing I had ever tasted in my so life. So how much meat does the recipe call for? Turn the page. 1.5 ounces. I'm sorry, 1.5 pounds, and this is hold on. 16, so I'm only gonna use half of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna rinse off my hand quick. Oh, my sweetie was all upset that he was worried he couldn't get his Cento tomatoes. We had to go, we usually go to Fred Meyer for our groceries, and we got most of the stuff except for the salt pork and I think one or two other things. But then we went to Safeway and they had everything we needed, including my sweetie Cento tomatoes. You need Italian tomato. Oh, is there a product? Take a listen, honey. Ooh. 
We got it finally. It's hitting the right temperature. You know what it kind of looks like? It kind of looks like little ham cubes. So what we're going to want to do... Only it's fat. As you can see, look at the fat coming off of it. See that? Starting to coat the pot. Ooh. You want to move it around until the bottom is completely coated. It's not yet. As you mm -hmm. can see, probably another minute or two. And enough of that fat will start to reduce in there and start coating. Mm. So not yet. Ooh, Close, but not yet. Lots of yummy spices. Alright, so there's another half thing of meat I gotta take out here. It's too tight that side, this side I guess. Alright, so half would be about there, right? Mm-hmm. About, give or take. Ew. <laughs> meat. Mm-hmm. 